My next guest helped bring home the gold as a member of last summer's U.S. Olympic women's basketball team. She now plays for the New York Liberty, one of the new teams of the WNBA. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rebecca Lobo. Nice to meet you. You too. How tall are you, man? Six four. You're six four? Yes. Wow. That's like I'm I'm six four with the pompadour. <laughs> <laughs> so if I get a little help. Very th thanks very much for coming. Congratulations. Thanks for having me. It's Thank very, you. Life has gotten very exciting for you. I understand you got to jog with President Clinton recently, yes. which is a high honor, I would suppose. <laughs> it, it was it was a high honor. It was a lot of fun. We uh we ran somewhere down there in D.C. and uh, you didn't bump into Dennis Franz. No, no, we didn't. <laughs> um, but it was it was funny because after we ran, we we got driven he, over. What, how long did you run for? Um, about a half hour. Okay, half and hour. then he passed out, or what happened? <laughs> <laughs> no, we we did stop halfway through uh -huh. in, in the middle of the run because he wanted to show us a sculpture. I think it was because he was a little tired. Yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I just uh, want you to see the sculpture yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, we have oxygen for you. Yeah. That's not oxygen, that's helium. It's uh, some historical. <laughs> oh. It's something in a oh. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Yeah. Want to see that? And they bring defibrillators with them. <laughs> of course, uh, the statue's in my pants. Oh. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, by the way, Rebecca, this is Scott Thompson. Uh, <laughs> I have nowhere else to go, yeah. you see. <laughs> they just, You'll you be know. hearing from him. I have Mackenzie Phillips waiting for my hotel room, you know. Yeah. We just have nowhere else to go. <laughs> just ignore him, keep going. Uh, okay. Now, you were, um, I understand that you were, uh, that you, you ran with him, right? right. And yes. then he took you back to the White House. Yes, uh, we came in the presidential limo or whatever it is. There's about six of us who ran. So we're all kind of hot and sweaty after we run and we get in the limo. And uh, it was kind of funny because, well, <laughs> because... Um, Are you sure you want to be telling this story? <laughs> Yeah. To me and not Ted Koppel. <laughs> and then what happened, Ms. Lobo? Well, the, I thought the funny part was when we were riding back, all the windows fogged up in the limousine. So I'm imagining people who see us driving by just wondering what is going through the their hell? mind. There's a presidential like, limo. We window. got ourselves a president. <laughs> with, a, with the windows fogged up again. But uh, no, ours And then, so and then what, what, did you get like a tour? Of yeah, that? he gave us a tour of the, of the Oval Office and everything. It was really nice. Wait a minute. When did you guys, sh well, like when were people showering and stuff? Did you, were you taking this tour while you were still sweaty? Yeah, it was kind of a smelly Oval Office. <laughs> Showers were allowed. That's probably a good thing. Uh huh. I would think so. Uh, now you got honored. You were honored uh, back home in your hometown. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. They named a street um, in my honor, Rebecca Lobo Way. That is which, very cool. It is very cool, except that it's. Um... That's nice. Getting a street. That's cool. Yeah, but it's a really small street. Um, is it's, it? It's an access road. Isn't yeah. It? <laughs> it's, it's it's a driveway from a street to the high school. So. <laughs> Hey, come on, that's still it was, something. It was real nice. It was they named really a drainage nice. ditch after me back home in Boston. Yeah, that's where the waste product goes. The Conan O'Brien ditch. Uh, I want to talk about the WNBA for a minute. You guys are incredible athletes. And I was just curious if there are, you know, there are like societal differences between men and women. And I was mm -hmm. curious, when you're in the WNBA, do you guys trash talk? Is there trash talking in the WNBA or is oh, it? Not too much. There's, not too there much? There really isn't a whole lot of trash talking, no. Is it different than the trash talking? Do you think when there is trash talking, is it, you're not giving me enough uh, emotional space, you know? <laughs> <laughs> is, is there a, yeah. is there, you know, where do you get your hair done? I, I don't know. I don't know. You guys, but is it, I mean, when you, you guys get fierce, you probably uh, go at it just like yeah, you guys Yeah, you're, you're really competitive and everything, but you don't, you know, you don't trash talk too much right not as much say not maybe as much as the, as right. the gentleman right um you grew up in a uh, pretty athletic family yeah yeah my brother and sister both played sports played basketball and uh when we were little my brother would actually make my sister and i put on these downfield mittens that we had and um tell us to box and so we would just go <laughs> and we were little and we just listened to our older brother we didn't know better he was a we, little don yeah. king yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little. you two do it i'll watch and collect the revenue <laughs> yeah yeah so we would go out and we would 
punch each other until one of us cried, and then my brother, you know, quieted us down so he wouldn't get in trouble with our mom. <laughs> Why are you crying? Yeah. It but, sounded like he had a good deal going. Yeah, I think he did. I, actually, I should talk to him Did about you play that. basketball with him much? Yeah, we would play, and uh, when I was little, I was a tomboy, and mm -hmm. um, so we would play out in the driveway, but... We, we don't live in, in a city or anything, so um, I, when I was little, I remember I would go out and shoot without my shirt on because I kind of thought, thought I was a boy. Yeah. Um, I don't do that as much anymore. No, it would, yeah. would certainly change the league yeah. if you guys started to <laughs> get a whole different clientele. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. Uh, well, good luck, though. Uh, this is the WNBA's first season. Yes, it is. And uh, you guys have a lot to be proud of. It was really nice to meet it's you. It's great to meet Congratulations you. Congratulations on everything. Rebecca Lobo, everyone. Come on back. Visit us again, will you? All right, we'll take a break. We'll be right back. Our guest, Rebecca Lobo, come on back some time and best of luck to you. I also want to thank Scott Thompson for being with us tonight and doing that thing that he does. Our thanks to Dennis Franz for being on the program. Of course, Andy Richter, Max Weinberg, and his Max Weinberg 7. Good night, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow.